So uh, you guys had the nice trifecta of your your white label, your cask strength, and then your rye. So this one here, and I know I know it's of utmost importance to you, regenerative grain, bourbon at ninety five proof here. Yep. Tell us about this one. Five years ago, I said I was going to do this. As a new company, it was hard to pave a path to getting to distillers that would do this. And by the right. way, when we launched Kiss the Ground, so you know, I was super fortunate enough to executive produce these films, Kiss the Ground, Common Ground, and Groundswell. Yes. Kiss the Ground is now the most viewed environmental doc ever made. An incredible about, documentary, man. Oh, it's so cool, man. It's all about at regenerative ag, right? And people are like, well, what the hell is this regenerative ag? And I always say, and you know, a lot of people in Kentucky know, but it's just the use of plant grazing methods and using living growing plants, agriculture at scale, to sequester enormous amounts of carbon and store it safely back in the ground where it belongs. Now, when you do that, you feed all the vital microorganisms in that soil. So all of a sudden you have healthy soil, healthier soil, healthier plant, mm. healthier people, healthier climate, fresh water stores, you know, farmer prosperity, farmers make more money. Um, tax bases go up, school districts get better, water districts get better. You know, it's like there's a huge positive cascade. Well, when we launched this damn film in December of 19, it was right around my birthday, there was about a quarter of a million acres of region. Dude, do you know how many there are now? 39.9 million. Holy shit. Dude, that's awesome. That's we've moved the needle. We're, and we're trudging up to 100 million acres, which ultimately is 10% of the farm uh, usable farmland in, in, in the United States. Which we know that's the threshold that's tipping. Right? It'll never go right. back because money talks bullshit walks. People realize yeah. like, I can make more money. So this regenerative whiskey comes out of Statesville, North Carolina, um, that I got to distill with, with my dear brother, Pete Barger. The grain from this whiskey comes within 5 to 15 miles of the distillery. No kidding. So we're, I mean, we're talking straight up grain to glass. Yep. My, dude, I can't tell you this these deep, dark, rich yeah. notes that you get off of off of the off of the nose. Oh, yeah, gosh, big time. But the nuance of the flavor, you get that sweet kick on the back end. But those, all that front palate, mid palate, mid to back palate, is a really amazing balance of of rye, of that mm. spice, of a little bit of toasted cereal grain. There's a sweetness on the lips. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, it, it's just this is beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. sweetness. A little spice on the tip of, of your tongue, and it just completely just balances. I mean, this is what, what proof are we at? 95, 95 proof on this? Five straight. Yeah. This was really drinking well at, it was almost 93.5, and it was almost 97.2. Um, but this was just so nuanced. So when that grain comes off the truck, right? It gets sucked up into this amazing machine, and when it's when it's milled, it's run by air. It's not run by electricity. So these hammer mills, you're getting all that heat from friction, right. and that part hits it, that metal, bing, and it scorches it before it actually gets ground. So you start thinking like, all right, well now the nuance of this corn which I could tell you where these fields are, who grew the corn. This corn went through a mill that wasn't hot. So it was never scorched. It was milled and it went right into those cookers. It gives me chills. Like I get all teary eyed and shit when I think about it because we did it. Yeah. What are we like three, a blend of three and six year old? Yep. It's, it's, it's an amazing story, man. The six year old, the barrels, the wood from this six-year-old who was grown way up in the north. And the reason I fell in love with this, and we had to have it, we all worked so hard on this. If you think about it, wood that matures up in the north, it matures at such a slower, more dense rate. Yeah. Freaking freezing cold. Yeah. And it's older, and it's dense, and it's, it's a very nuanced type of wood. And that's where this comes into play. And then on the three-year-old, we went into the most insane barrel innovation. And really, honestly, what I learned, it's about the purest distillate. So meaning, like, I think they lose something like five to seven proof gallons a year because wow. they're not 
compromise in the quality of the, the distillate. But the quality makes up for the loss of the initial capital. There you go. And so the idea is if you are committing no sins in the distillation process, you're relying less on that barrel and all that char to fix the sins of distilling. You're right. So now you're giving the barrel a distillate that is literally so pure that the barrel has the ability to do all sorts of amazing things. Yes, I see that. And we went into some pretty proprietary sort of barrel innovation. Um, and it worked. Sure did. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> and for anyone listening, you know these guys right here have nothing but just the most insane amount of love and passion for, for whiskey and the people in this business and the customers that we reach. You spread so much knowledge and compassion and passion about this that it's infectious. And so we all can geek out about this stuff. Well, people geek out about it at home. They're like, holy shit, man, I taste this and I taste that. And because it's, dude, it's, it's like it's nature and it's science and it's art all in one thing to bond over this. Speaking of bonding, dude, check this out. Yeah. I was going to say, I was going to see what you're going to next. Cause I yeah, already have a bond uh, right here. So bottled and bond. <laughs> That's bottled what I'm on too, buddy. Bond. It, bottled it, and bond. Bottled and think about it. Brothers Bond, bottled and bond. I've been waiting to say this and show this for so long. Last year at Bourbon and Beyond, you brought it in a sample bottle. That's right. We were able to taste it. And now, one year later, we see this beautiful bottle hitting here. This is actually hitting Brian. As I speak, these two bottles just landed in Kentucky. So you're actually going to be able to purchase these by the time this goes live this week. You're going to be able to purchase these amazing bottles. And what we're tasting right now is seven-year-old bottled in bond. You know, we were talking earlier about these cast drinks are great. They're wonderful. But, man, I think that that 95 to 100 proof, that's where the market is, man. Mm. That's what people are sipping on. You know, a lot of people still like to get their faces burned off at that, you know, 120, 130 position. But the nuance really comes in at that, like... 95 to, you know, yeah. one, I mean, our cast rate, it goes from 114.08 to one damn near 16. So this bottled in bond, there's different times of distillation, summer, fall, winter. Yep. And, and now going, now realizing kind of where, where I am, this bottled in bond, um, was amazing climbing over all those barrels and, and getting intimate and close with it, but and waiting fucking patiently. But this, <laughs> Bottle. That's all. That is the only words in whiskey, Ian, is <laughs> waiting fucking patiently. <laughs> this was barreled uh, February 7th, 2017. So that winter distillation, that early, early, early distillate was exposed to colder temperatures, really kept it, you know, kept it tight, kept it tight. Right. As that sea started to change, man, it just gradually started to, 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 to get Lots into of complexity. And um, it's pretty amazing. I want to look at um, at the old paperwork and look at what times the it went into the barrels. And then I want to do the astrology chart on the brother on the bottle. Yeah. Dude, that'd there be cool. That'd <laughs> love be it. cool. I love that idea. <laughs> I know the date. I just don't know the exact time. I love it. That's a really, really neat idea. Now, also, let's talk a little bit. Like, so we got double gold from San Francisco Spirit Competition. We have double platinum from the Ascot Awards, which yours truly is a judge on the Ascot Awards. And I'm pretty positive, if I remember correctly, this was in my box. It's really special. And that's what I want to, and that's why anyone watching this or listening to it, because they listen to it because they love you guys and you have that credibility and that, that thing. That's what I want. I'm hoping people understand because it's, listen, I say this with all due respect. You you know this. There's a lot of celebrity juice and companies out there. And this was not us slapping our names on these bottles. I mean, take away our flagship 80 proof. It's about to be 85 proof. But if you look down the, the sort of portfolio right here, um, it's all award winning. And two other people, if I'm asking them to part with their hard earned dollars, I have to be on my game for them to trust me with that. Maybe they hear about it from a friend, but it's that word of mouth that eventually trumps all. 